Okay guys, in this video we are going to have a look at the tooling setup. Now, the first thing we need is an editor to write our code and the second thing we need is the TypeScript compiler to transpile our code. And finally, we'll put these two together and configure our editor to work with the TypeScript compiler. Now for this series, I'm going to be using VS Code or Visual Studio Code. Now this is a great editor with autocompletion and IntelliSense, but feel free to use Sublime Text or WebStorm or Atom. Just make sure you install the TypeScript plugin as well. The next thing we need to do is install TypeScript with NPM. And for those of you who are new to the word NPM, NPM is Node Package Manager and it is a package manager that is going to help manage our dependencies. Now go to nodejs.org and download and install the latest and stable version of Node. And by doing so, we are, we are also going to be installing NPM. So I've already done this and the next step is I've created a new folder called ES2015 on my desktop and I have navigated to this folder. So over here, I'm going to open command window and type npm install typescript-g. Now this is going to globally install TypeScript for us with the help of npm as I mentioned. Now to save us some time, I've already executed this command, but please go ahead and execute this on your machine. Okay, so now that we have installed TypeScript compiler, let us see how to configure it with our editor. So over here in Visual Studio Code, I have ES2015 folder opened and type control shift B, not type rather it is, I mean, press control shift B. And it is going to say that uh, no task runner configured. Now click on configure task runner and select TypeScript with watch mode. Now this is going to create a new tasks.json for us in our folder. So go ahead and save this. And finally, we need a configuration file for our TypeScript compiler. So go back to our folder over here and in the command window, type TSC, which is TypeScript compiler, dash dash in it. Now this is going to create a tsconfig.json file. So let me open this over here. Now this is a configuration file for the TypeScript compiler. So it has some configurations like the target is going to be ES5 and then there's also the source map over here and we are going to change this to true so that we have a mapping from the TypeScript file to the JavaScript file which is going to help us with the debugging. And I'm also going to add another out there over here and specify this is going to be scripts folder. So I've created a new, I mean, uh, the TypeScript compiler is going to create a new folder called scripts and this is where all the transpiled JavaScript is going to exist. So we'll have our TypeScript files right over here in our 2015 folder, but all the JavaScript file is going to go inside a separate folder called scripts. This is just to help us organize our code more efficiently. Now, let me create a new file called demo.ts. And over here, let me create, um, let me just type console.log and hello world. Okay, now when I save this and hit on control shift B. It says compilation complete, watching for file changes. Okay, let me terminate this running task and let me build it again. Okay, so compilation complete and watching for file changes. And if you see here, it created a new folder for us, scripts, and it has created the demo.js from the demo.ts file. And we also have the mapping file, but it is only going to help us with the debugging. So we're here in a demo.js, it has inserted the line console.log hello world. Now this is the same in ES2015 as it is in ES5, so we don't see any difference in the code, but we will see in the future videos. Okay, so we have our Visual Studio Code Editor, we have installed TypeScript Compiler, 
we have added a build step so that every time you make a change it is going to compile the file and finally we need an index.html file which is going to reference this javascript so create a new file called index.html and over here i'm quickly going to install i mean type out some code html head and script now within script, the source is going to be equal to, where do we have it? Script slash demo dot JS, because the JavaScript is the one which is going to be running in our browser. So type is equal to text slash JavaScript. Now let's save this. Now there are two things that we can do right now. We can directly Okay, did I not save it? Okay, I okay. Let me change it. I did save it. Okay, this got over here. So let me change it to the 2015 folder. So now we have our index.html. So we can open it and and I type or hit on F12 and open console. We have hello world. But if you see here, the path is from our file system. And what would be better is to serve our index.html from a server. So go back to our ES2015 folder and type npm install light server dash g. Now this is going to install light server which is a server basically and it is going to install it globally. Now I have already done this so once you execute that command you can type light server. Okay, it's going to take a few seconds and open localhost 3000 and now when I click on console, we still have hello world. So that's pretty much it, the setup we have to run ES2015 and TypeScript. Now I know this was a tedious job, but this is required to start working with TypeScript. But if you are interested, let's say in learning just ES2015 for now, and want to hold on to ES uh, TypeScript, then watch the next video because I have a different setup that is going to be very easy for you to start working with ES2015. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.